until once it gets in there, the bacteria just multiplies and it keeps oh. working its way down the branch. Okay. You no, know, we cut most of it out. We yeah. missed a few. But it's very contagious. Uh, oh, is it? You have to, uh, every time you make a cut, you have to sanitize your hands. You put your bacteria to be on. You have to wash your clothing. So, so, how do you kill? Well, uh, we, we put an antibiotic on the spray. So it's it's an infection pala yan, pagkaganyan na yung kulay niya. It, it, it kills, it, just like with people, it, it, it will kill the no? bacteria. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, usually one or two sprays. So I'm doing a little education on how apples are grown. If you like to I'm going to cut this off a little bit. Okay. And I'll show you. Oh, that one is good. There's a little seeds in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Just a little seed. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think would happen if we plant, take this seed, mm -hmm. and plant it in the ground? One seed, it, it's not going to grow. It'll grow. It'll grow. It'll grow. It'll grow. Yeah, it'll grow. It'll grow. It'll grow. It'll it'll grow. grow an apple tree. It will. Yeah. Just well, I was thinking it's just one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it won't necessarily grow a Spartan apple. Oh, okay. And that's because. In apple trees, the genetic material is not in the seed. Oh. All, right? All the genetic material is in this first year growth, in these buds. Oh. So you see there it was this year's growth? Uh -huh. All right. So the only way we can guarantee when we grow An apple tree. Uh, a Spartan or a Macintosh or anything is we have to graft them. Oh. So okay. that's when you look at the bottom here uh -huh. and you'll see this large ball. Uh -huh. and that was a graft union when the oh. tree was small. Oh, okay. Okay. So the tree consists of two parts. It has the rootstock, which controls the size of the tree. Mm -hmm. That's grown in the nursery. Mm -hmm. And then the variety is grafted onto it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what we'll do, I'll just put this knife away. <laughs> <laughs> we take this first year growth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this is called budwood. And about August, we collect a bunch of budwood from, say, we want to plant more Spartan trees like this. Uh -huh. And we'll take that and we'll go into our nursery. Uh -huh. And all the trees there are probably about a year old. Uh -huh. And we go along and with our budwood and we'll take a small bud, just like this. And then we'll go in our nursery tree, uh -huh. which is growing, and I'll just do it. And we make a little T incision, uh -huh. oh. like this. Yeah. Okay. And then you put, then you right? put this bud yeah. direct. Oh, oh. And I dropped it. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. We'll take another bud here. Yeah. Bud. Uh -huh. <laughs> like you think. And we'll just insert that into that tree. Uh -huh. Tape it, uh -huh. and then. Usually that's about the end of August, mm -hmm. and by about the end of September, we'll have about that much growth on it. Mm -hmm. And then next spring, mm -hmm. we'll come in mm -hmm. and we'll just take the top of the rootstock off like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and then our new tree will grow from there. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we have to just prune it and train it to grow what we call two-year feather tree, yeah. nice branches, and then we take, dig them up, and then we plant them in the orchard. So does that mean you have to take the same branch? Same branch? No, no, no. As long as we get this first year wood. So I could take oh. this here, this wood, mm -hmm. but we try and get good strong budwood where no, the no. buds are strong. Mm -hmm. right? How so do we'll you know that. if it's strong? Like oh. what's the, the technique you, you have to... Oh, well, it's just like anything else. Uh -huh. You'll uh, you look for the size of it. So for example, a good me, so this is a pretty good piece here. See? Okay. So we cut that. Uh -huh. And if you look in here, hold on. See how nice bud there? Uh, see how nice bud there? Oh, I okay. See, okay. Oh, see. see there? Uh, yeah. That's oh, a nice yeah, bud. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that, oh, sorry. Oh. And that will grow. Uh -huh. And so we'll just take a number of good buds. Uh -huh. At the end, it's usually too weak. Uh -huh. So we'll take all these good, strong buds mm -hmm. right along here mm -hmm. and plant them. And then 
we hope if it takes, mm -hmm. then we grow a new tree. Oh, oh that's so interesting. <laughs> and then, yeah. how how many months usually it grows? Like, oh, it'll take usually to get apple production with like when you go in over there and you see the high, high tensile water yeah. trees. We call uh, bud nine rootstock. Mm -hmm. To get in full oh. production. Oh my God. Those trees we can get in three years. Year. The difference oh. is these trees were planted at, at the time this was planted was a very modern orchard, 640 trees per acre. Oh. Now it's old. Oh, okay. uh, so all the new orchards are going kind of like we did over there. But if you're dealing with a crop that's worth a million dollars, it's good. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so, um, but this is just a small, we consider it very small, we're just small farmers. We have traps like this, you're asking. Oh, so, oh, so it's a trap. At university, it's studied, a trap! <laughs> we studied insects, and we their life cycle. And if you look here, you'll see some of them. Mm -hmm. um, through science, we've studied, we know the female has a pheromone. Uh -huh. She attracts the male. So we've synthesized that pheromone, put in a little capsule, and we stick basically on in here. Uh -huh. And what it does, it attracts the male. And so we know, we count each day uh -huh. how many calling moths are in there. Uh -huh. And then once we see the numbers, it'll peak and then it'll start dropping. Oh. We know it's peak flight, we call it. Oh. They'll start to mate. And oh, we know then that we have to put control on it. Oh. Right? If we don't catch any calling moth, or very low numbers, yeah. we know that it's not an economic threat to the crop, so we don't have to spray oh. So this is called integrated pest management. And we do that with a lot of different insects and disease. Yeah. So what we're trying to get away from now is doing broad spectrum pesticides. So usually, what month does those insects come in? Like, there's well, there's it lots of depends summer. on the year, but oh. normally you'll start seeing an insect that can be usually okay. about the, just before bloom. Before so we take the high temperature to low temperature. Um, so say it's high temperature is 65, the low temperature is 45. Mm -hmm. It's 20 degrees difference. Mm -hmm. We divide it by two, it's 10. Mm -hmm. That gives us a degree day, and so many degree days will add up. And we know after, say, for calling off 350 degree days, that's when they're going to hatch. Um, so we know the flight will be there, and that way we know we start putting our traps out. This is for my own curiosity. I just wonder what you guys do with this calling apples. apples. Yeah. <laughs> well, some people, some farmers come in and pick them up for livestock or deer hunters pick them up. Oh. Um, they're not worth anything. It, it's too costly to go and pick them up. So what we yeah. do is we rake them all out, chop them, oh. and it just goes back into the soil. Oh. So it, it helps the soil biology. Oh. I don't think it's recycling. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. Especially on a pick your own orchard, you lose yeah. a lot of apples to the ground yeah. because uh, people pick and knock apples off. Uh -huh. The high wind we had last week Unfortunately, blew a lot down. Oh, yeah. It just uh, shaking the trees so much they fell. Oh, yeah. But you have to work with that. Yeah. So winter time, how do you protect against these apples? Oh, well, in the winter time, yeah. uh, about mid-January, we'll start pruning. Uh -huh. And what we we'll do is we we'll go in saws and pruners, and we what we do is we do a lot of the structural. So what we want to do is have a central leader tree like this, uh -huh. and often. try and just prune so we encourage fruit buds like this. Oh. These big fat buds here are all going to be flower next year. Oh. So we have on the limb, we try to increase all these fruit buds mm -hmm. and and then we get a nice bloom and hopefully the bees do their job and pollinate and then oh. we can get fruit. Awesome. So this is what we, we call this a production limb and this uh -huh. will be a production limb and we just open it up so we can get lots of light and it's easier for us to spray oh. so we get we, and that way when we do it this way 
we can reduce how much spray pesticides we use, uh -huh. get more better crop, bigger apples than that too. So we have to, so basically your system is midwinter we start pruning, we prune right through to about mid-April. Then when bloom starts, we'll start putting crop protection on. Then we'll we stop spraying right at bloom, and we bring our bees in. And we we'll keep the bees there for the full bloom and they pollinate. You bring your bees in? Yes, we, we go to a lot of people that grow honey. Mm -hmm. They like to bring the bees in. So we'll bring about 30 hives in here and have them situated throughout the orchard. Oh, wow. Well, well, and then the bees hard. pollinate. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 They bring the bees in. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we just keep the crop going on. So we know all the sprays we use, they break down the UV light and the government and universities and employers work together and we use pesticides that by the time harvest comes, they're completely gone and broken down. Apples to produce have to have a certain chilling temperature. Mm -hmm. So many chill days, mm -hmm. usually about 30 to 60 chill, chill days. Oh, nice. If you uh, you can grow them in a greenhouse, but you have to have it ventilated very carefully. All right, um, they're as far as I'm concerned, they do much better outside. But the nice thing about controlling the greenhouse, if you vent it, you can screen to keep a lot of the insects and disease out too. But you have to uh, use what they call super dwarfing rootstock. Build, you can grow certain uh, apple trees in, in pots. Yeah, so they'll just be a straight tree like this and have little branches and they'll put apples and you can have probably 3,000 trees. Oh, But very costly. That orchard we did on the trowel system was for two acres. By the time we got the irrigation, it cost $40,000 at least. Wow. That's a lot yeah, of money. So it, it, people don't realize, but... Uh, so you guys have only apples and apples with pumpkins? No, no, we don't have pumpkins. We're, we cut down these trees uh -huh. and we're going to uh, dig up the, the stumps this fall and plow it. And then next spring, the new owners want to try some grapes. Oh, oh, okay. oh, and then we're thinking over here, here we might put a pumpkin patch in. Because wow. people are asking for them. <laughs> We brought some pumpkins down from uh -huh. another farm, but uh, we're just selling a few. Oh, okay. Yeah, just because people are asking for them. But we'd like to also start growing some pears. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Out of curiosity, how do you make it? Oh, well, yeah. What we do is we dig it out. You're not allowed to burn here. Yeah. So uh, we put it in a dump truck and we they take it off to the dump. No, no, like the process of taking off oh, the stuff from I, the soil. We have a little, uh, what we call a backhoe excavator. Uh, oh, an excavator. Yeah, oh, so we great. just dig it out with that. Oh. And then I come along with the loader tractor, we load it in, put it away oh, to okay. the dump truck. Yeah. So that's how it's done. Well, that takes all the soil too, doesn't it? No, to no, a uh, good guy, what it has on the bucket has a tooth, almost like a thumb. Mm -hmm. So he'll grab it, dig it out, oh. then he grabs it with a thumb and he shakes it. And then the soil <laughs> ends up, now it's left is the roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't, yeah, lose, you don't lose any soil. Because I was seeing like a hole like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, it you does. were talking about like this. No, no, we don't go in and make a hole, but then he, when he pulls the stump up, he shakes it, and all the soil goes back down. That's, good. That's so interesting. Thank you so much for this. Thank you for this uh, <laughs> knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Home, yeah. We do that also with the. Uh, we have another lure, and it looks like a red apple oh. and we put it out for apple making it and uh, we so which one is your favorite on. apple the favorite yeah i don't have it here no, my favorite it. is empire i love empire, empire and uh, yeah it oh. is good today but i i do like honey crisp I, it's nice I, but i taste the other one the shizuka it is sweet it's good yeah shizuka is a lovely apple yeah, yeah. if we but could uh, the thing over there is not too much no, I think it was already picked out. <laughs> uh, well, no, actually, it got frozen. Uh, it, the bloom came out on that end. Uh, the silken, the shizuka, and the golden delicious. We had some, but um, just as they're coming out in bloom, we got a frost and it killed all the bloom. So we lost the crop this year.
time you open for the public? For the public. That, I think that's um, the question. This year, if we would have had Silken, and the gold and the shizuka we would opened up probably the first week of september mm -hmm. but this year we opened up uh, about the second late. week of september yeah. mm -hmm. because um there just was no crowd mm -hmm. so but that's farming you got to go with it yeah you know nature yeah. you, you, you work with you nature open, I think saturday and sunday, and sunday. yeah yeah we do uh, this year i don't know why we normally open up the Jack. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Jack. Thank you. Appreciate you coming Thank you. out. Thank you and for enjoy. educating us. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> hope to see you again. Okay. Hope to see you again. And good luck on your studies. Thank you. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. <laughs>